Did you somehow spend all your gold buying wallpapers? Let me show you how you can make it back fast. Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to post a quick video today that will be an extension to my previous guide about gathering 101 and I'll be showing you some of the new things I learned in order to earn gold quickly in Andon. So, let's go! If you want to gather for gold, first thing is that we have to see how the player base market is swing on your server. You want to find out what's selling quickly and at a decent gold price. And that usually either depends on where your server is at in terms of their level or their crafting needs. I know that a few people were expecting level 50 gear to be outright level 3 materials, so they sold everything they had at resource level 2, only to realize, oh no, we actually still need these. Ah! So you can see on the trading house here, there are two sets of numbers. The top number shows how many in total that are being listed on the marketplace. The bottom number shows how many of these units are being listed for the lowest price. If the number at the bottom is high and the price it is selling for is quite low, you may find that you'll have a hard time selling this item as it means that there is not much demand for it and there is oversupply in the market. On my server, as of the time of making this video, copper ore is in high demand and sells for a higher price than average. So for the purpose of this tutorial, we will farm for this material. By clicking here, we can see which map to obtain it from. And by pulling out the map and clicking on the gathering tab here, you have options to narrow down location of exactly what it is we're looking for. You can see copper ore is listed here beneath the little iron ingot icon. Now these icons will indicate places that these items mostly spawn in clusters, so you'll want to head to the general vicinity and have a look around first. Some locations lead you to a place that have many aggressive monsters that will annoy you while you're gathering and cause you to waste precious precious ammo. We want to avoid that as much as possible. What we want to look for is a nice and easy route to gather in a loop so that once you get to the end of the rotation, the beginning node will have already spawned back, ready for you to start the cycle again. The best location that I've found for copper ore is here, but you can apply these three principles to any material to find the location that will give you the best gathering for that material. Actually, before you even head out from your house together, we need to bring some food with us. I normally bring two types of food with me. You know that my favorite is a meaty barbecue because it regens the hunger stat very quickly. I also craft bonfires to bring with me, as warming up by a bonfire will give you a 15% gathering speed buff that lasts for 20 minutes. But if you don't want to use logs to craft these bonfires, there's also another recipe that you can use to give you the same gathering speed buff. To craft it, you will need to find pumpkins out in the world. Thanks to this video, I could find the locations that the pumpkins were spawning in Redwood Forest. Also, if you've joined a camp, you can buy 10 pumpkins every day from the camp dining store for silver. And if you don't have a recipe, you don't need one because you just put 4 pumpkins in here and it will give you the pumpkin dish. I've also tried to unlock the pumpkin mushroom soup recipe which can be found also in your camp dining store. But the buff doesn't appear to be any different and you will still need to use 2 pumpkins and 2 mushrooms to make this recipe work in order to get the same speed buff. In my mind, if you want to stretch out the use of your pumpkins, you can use this recipe as you'll only need to use 2 pumpkins instead of 4. The freshen up buff from the bonfire does not stack with the food buffs, so you can just choose whichever method works better for you. I personally prefer bonfire as it goes for 20 minutes and that's usually about as much gathering as my brain can handle for one day. Here is a side by side comparison of the two buffs in effect. As you can see, they are pretty much the same. Lastly, to achieve the fastest gathering speed possible, you will need to unlock these skills in the job roles tab. You'll be required to level up your proficiency level on the corresponding role that you're gathering in order to level up these specific skills. So if you're looking only for logs, you will need to level the logger and so on and so forth. You can gain points to level these job roles every time that you gather something out in the world. You can choose to spend and focus on one role later, but I would highly recommend unlocking these basic three to reach the drop rate buff and the speed buff as these are the main things that you normally gather at this stage by yourself. Once all these things are in place, you'll find that you'll gather much faster than before. I've gathered 200 ores in about 10 minutes, which I can now flip on the trading post for gold. 
Notice that I've unlocked all my market slots in order to make it so I don't have to keep relisting items once they've been sold. But you can choose to keep yours at default if you wish. Pay attention when you are listing your item as some players will just list it at the price that the game tells them to list it or they'll try to undercut but buy too much. Or some people will even list trap items by listing it at the lowest possible price in order to break the market. By not paying attention here, it can cause you to list your item at a much lower price than what it is really worth. And if there is only one or two units that have undercut the general price, then generally you don't need to undercut them because by doing so, you'll only bring down the value of the item and we don't want to do that. Unless of course there is too much supply on the market. One last thing that I will bring your attention to is that if you're the trading type of player in MMO most who likes to buy all the items at a cheap price and relist them back on the auction house at a higher price for profit, then it is just not possible to do so in an efficient manner on this game. This is because when you purchase an item from the trading post, there is a ban put on that specific item that keeps it from being relisted onto the auction house again for a certain amount of days. You can preview how long that it will be before you can relist the item by clicking on the item and reading the details below here. I hope this helps you to breeze through your gathering and gold farming. And that's all from me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Happy farming and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!